The business of barbecue is as complex as it is vast in scope, and like any business, the customer is king and supply and demand is what drives the barbecue industry forward. Whether it's a manufacturer, retailer, a food truck or restaurant, understanding what the customer wants and consistently delivering on that is always the best recipe for success. Custom smoker manufacturers in Australia are now producing some of the best offset smokers in the world and there's also many more mass produced grills on the market to suit any cooking style. With the steady rollout of more and more ABA sanctioned barbecue competitions in Australia and New Zealand, the growth in the number of food trucks, caterers and the barbecue industry as a whole has accelerated to keep pace and to fill the demand. Like with any industry, I'm sure, you know, there's ups and downs. Um, there's pros and cons to all of it. You know, that, that 2 a.m. alarm or, you know, 10 p.m. alarm going off to come up and run a midnight shift, that gets old after a while. You know, we rotate monthly, and that last week is, is, is a little hard to answer that call some days. And, uh, but all it takes is one or two trips to the dining room, you know, and see the, see the joy that it's given folks, and it makes it all worth it. Uh, it's been fun, it's been interesting, um, we've got to travel a lot, always learning on the fly uh, and with the business I guess growing with the culture of barbecue, um, more doors open up for us to, to do things than ever before so it's always growing, there's always more events, um, new suppliers coming in, new products we can use, new menu items we can try so the whole industry's growing and I guess Rangers is growing with it. It's challenging, it's ups and downs, you know, it's um, it's probably the hardest in the retail catering industry, I guess, because it's the long hours, it's the, you know, 12, 15 hour cooks, it's not open up a box and deep fry it, and so there's a lot of work that goes into it that people don't see. Uh, I mean, you gotta pay the mortgage, man. <laughs> I get a lot of pleasure out of people saying that they like the food, it's, yeah, it's, it's awesome. For event promoters hosting a barbecue competition, the workload can be intense, there are so many pre-planning factors to consider, and it often takes support from a whole range of sponsors and participants to make the weekend a raging success. Barbecue Battle's fantastic, it's our biggest weekend of the year, and we get people from all over Australia. The teams are fantastic, we get lots of people coming to have a look and see what it's all about. They learn about barbecue, and we use it as our major marketing thing for our business for the year. It gets us lots of extra press, we get lots of social media, and we get lots of TV and radio exposure because it's something that's new and different. In recent years, established barbecue retailers have reshaped and expanded their on-shelf product lines to suit the re-emergence of solid fuel outdoor cooking. Barbecues Galore has been a driving force in the emerging barbecue scene in Australia. They've invested heavily in the growth of competition barbecue, as well as delivered many high quality promotional activities to help educate and support the growing barbecue culture. So for us, the low and slow market has really blossomed. A couple of years ago, we were getting just fielding inquiries and calls, not only from customers, but our own team telling us that that this market is, is really taking off. And we've, uh, we've partnered with some really good brands like Traeger, Tomato Joe, Pro-Q, and we've really built a really strong assortment of products. And with that, we've also built some great partnerships with the ABA, 2MMM as well, with uh, Merrick White. And we've also gone into a more, a more grassroots environment as well, where we can see there's local competitions that we're looking to support. Uh, low and slow shows as well and it's been wonderful there's a real organic desire to understand the category and become involved and they're wonderful social events as well and we're seeing a whole heap of interest coming through at store level as well and we can see plenty of interest online so for us it's just a natural extension of what we do savvy butchers who've kept pace with the changing marketplace are benefiting from a renewed interest in whole cuts and are also selling record amounts of some of the once less popular secondary cuts, perfect for low and slow barbecuing. 
Well, as a butcher, I've noticed, uh, especially over the last two to three years, a uh, big increase in the uh, inquiry and the need for uh, uh, beef brisket and for uh, beef ribs. Uh, pork ribs have always been a big seller, but they're, uh, they're becoming more and more popular all the time. Uh, lamb in a big way, lamb shoulders, I haven't sold lamb shoulders for years up until two or three years ago and now they're sort of a, just a regular thing on the menu all the time. Lamb ribs, had never sold lamb ribs for many many years and now we just can't get enough of them. Specialised classes or boot camps are fast tracking access to vast knowledge banks with many great barbecuers all too happy in sharing the love and all of their best tips and tricks in how to produce good barbecue. Barbecue's been in my family for a lot of years. My grandfather had a barbecue store, one of the first barbecues galore franchises in Australia. And it's now become a bit of a business for me as well. This year we've got 14 classes locked in up till May. So from January to May, we're gonna be pretty busy. But there's nothing better than teaching people how to cook great food on a barbecue. And what was a hobby is now taking me all around Australia. I'm doing classes, I'm competing at events, but also I've had the opportunity to go overseas. So for me, with the sponsorship, I've been able to see a lot more of the country, which has been amazing. Much like the brotherhood amongst barbecue folks, the theme of strong relationships and also giving back to the broader barbecue community most often translates into customer satisfaction customer loyalty and better barbecue business overall. To revisit previous episodes, simply search Facebook for Beyond the Flame TV. Subscribe to our series, share and hashtag Beyond the Flame.